So today's video is going to be Cycles Render and Blender Render and this is the new and improved video that I said I would do and somebody in my last How to Vintage video asked me to make a video so perfect timing I guess. So I will be talking really fast because I do want the timing to be right and this is a voiceover so yeah. So we're gonna get into Roblox Studios and we are going to click base plate so as you can see there's this arrow thing right there and i'm going to show you how to get it so you go to view and then you go to ford studs and then it should pop up so now we're gonna do some plugins so for plugins you have to click plugins and then you have to click um manage plugins but these are two plugins that we are going to use but so you're gonna click manage plugins and then you can see i've only used load character plugin today i didn't do f3x building plugin because i just didn't but if you do want me to show you i can just comment it down below so yeah so we are going to x out of this and we're going to use our avatar loader and we're going to click that and we're going to enter the username you want i just did me because i don't know why i did me but i did and i used spawn r6 and then as you can see it says spawn at origin it just makes it spawn in the middle and the arrows are there for a reason it just makes your life easier in blender so i am going to click model which is pi i don't know i just thought of pi on the spot so all you have to do to make this pi a model because you don't like the way it looks i guess to make it a model you have to do Control G and or Command G for MacBooks, which are what I'm on for my videos because that's why I have better quality because I'm on a MacBook. So, <laughs> okay, so if you do want these two things to be together, all you have to do is drag it into your username and then that works i'm going to show you how to delete faces because a lot of people do it and people want to know so you want to go to head and then you find face and then delete <laughs> wow slenderman i'm just kidding <laughs> okay anyways now i'm going to show you how to bring this thing to blender and it will be an obj automatically so you don't have to worry about saving it as an obj so you want to right click export selection and then you just save it into whatever you can name it whatever so yeah <laughs> this is easy if you do follow if you don't understand it'll be all in the description so i am doing i am using blender 2.9a and it irritates me when people in the comments still comment Mine looks different. Well, you're using 2.8, and I pinned it in the comment section, the link to this version, and I still have people commenting it, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. So we're going to do Blender Render, and we're going to delete this by clicking X, and then click that, and then to move around, you use Shift plus F, and then WASD to move around. So, now I'm going to show you how to get your Roblox avatar into Blender. It's pretty easy. So, you go to File, and then you're going to find Import, and then you're going to find Wavefront OBJ, and then you're going to click that, and then you're going to find 
whatever you saved and you have to click the one that says dot obj and then you click import obj and it shows up mind-blowing okay so we're going to do this snowball thing and then you click materials to make the materials and color show up and i'm going to show you how to change the lighting so you go to find the lamp click the lamp emoji and then um you look down i guess <laughs> i don't know you look down and then you click specular turn it off and then you click hemi and then that turns your avatar into it makes it brighter i guess and then you can move the light around but doesn't really make a difference in blender render and i'll show you why it doesn't and then what it can do in cycles render so as you can see i just did that and then i just got pi back so all you have to do for that is control plus z or command z this is just the way to like undo things basically so it's a really good thing because a lot of people don't know that and then they have to like restart or something when it gets to them you know i feel useless that happened to me before so i don't like the arrow at my leg so i just did set or set origin to geometry and then it goes to the middle which just makes your life easier you don't have to do it i just like to do it so to resize my thing i did that little square arrow thing and you can resize things but make sure it looks good because if it doesn't people will notice and you don't want anybody talking about it basically so you want to make it look the same but smaller or something or bigger but yeah a lot of people don't know that you can get everything in your head into the same thing all you have to do is right click and then shift and right click everything set origin and then you click join and they'll make everything go together as one so i recommend that because people like to tilt the head and a lot of people have to tilt everything one by one and it makes it look kind of bad so no comment so i'm going to show you how to bend the limbs now you're going to click object edit mode and then you're going to subdivide three times and I'm going to scroll down and then find remove doubles. And then you're going to go and find auto smooth with this triangle thing. And then you want to turn it off because it'll make that really ugly thing. So, yeah. So now you're going to use Z on your keyboard for wireframe to make it this black thing. And then you're going to do control drag to whatever part of the limb you want i just did half of it so to show the elbow in the humans thing <laughs> and if you didn't get everything it will be um in the description and i'm going to change this back to materials by doing that little snowball thing and then you use the rotate thing and then you just rotate it i know right mind blowing so then you just move it back in place and then boom you have a bent limb and then you change it back to object mode obviously but now you have a bent limb and now you can tell your friends that you bent a limb and you know how to use the program blender brag sis i'm just i'm just kidding okay i don't know what i'm saying but i'm just going to you can move it around i I'm just moving it around so that I can get the pie in the hand, but I'm going to speed the this arm up because you already saw what happened with the other one, so we're going to just speed that up, and so, yeah, <laughs> I need water, so I'm just going to move it again, and as you can see, oh my god, I really like the, my, the way I bent these limbs. I think I saved it, I don't know, but I'm probably never going to use it, but I just like the way it looks for some reason. It just looks so smooth. Okay, now you can do what I just did. So, I'm going to move the pie into my avatar's hand. And then I'm going to show you how to um, 
render this thing. So you want to go to view, and this view, and not the view on over there. We're gonna click this view, and then you're gonna click camera, and then you use shift F to move around just like usual, the same way you do it before. And then you can just measure up the little rectangle to whatever you want to render. So, yeah. And then you can also click this camera emoji and then there's these little dimensions. If you want a square frame, you just do the 10,000 by 10,000. I don't recommend it because it takes forever and it takes up a lot of space in your computer. So, I don't recommend it. I usually just do the YouTube size basically so I'm just gonna change back to this YouTube size and then I'm going to show you how to render this it's like the easiest thing in the world but as you can see I am highlighting this render thing you can use either renders and then you have to scroll down if you want it transparent you can do this part you go to shading and then you find alpha and then you change it to transparent and then the background will be transparent and when you edit it it will have a background so you click render blender renders usually really fast so to save it you click image and then you click save as image and then you just save it as whatever so i'm just naming it but yeah I need water okay so now I'm going to show you um cycles render which will make a huge difference to your renders so we're going to get into cycles render about now so we are also using the same version and it will be linked down below so we do the same thing with the square and then as you can see go up there you click it change to cycles render that's how you get cycles render and then we're going to do the same thing import OVJ and everything I'm using the same um avatar because I don't have another one saved so bear with me okay so this one is different as you can see it's also gray at first or white whatever you want to call that but I'm going to show you why this is a difference so we're gonna go to the little snowball down there and then you click material as you can see it doesn't have this dark thing spot it's just lit up already which I mean I like cycles render better because it just makes it look more realistic and I'll show you how so we're going to do the same thing I'm just gonna bend some limbs and yeah again if you don't know what I'm doing it will be linked in the description all the steps are in the description so yeah I want water but it's too far away oh my god that sounded so bad I'm sorry <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm going to get back into this thing, and I'm going to show you that I just made this thing into one thing. Wow, spectacular. Okay, I'm getting off track. Um, we are going to do the camera thing again, and then measure whatever I want to render, and then... I'm going to show you why this is such a huge difference. So we're going to go to view and then camera. And that's how you get out of camera mode. But the camera will stay there. And then I'm going to show you lighting. This trick I always use. So you can move the lighting to your preference. It does make a difference in cycles render. So be aware of where you move your lighting. So then... You can scroll down from the camera emoji, click exposure, and then click transparent if you do want it transparent. And then when you render it, um, you can see a difference already. 
I sped up this rendering because it was taking a while. But at the top it does show you. That's what I like about it. But it wasn't that long. And then now I am going to zoom in. And as you can see there's a shadow below the glasses. And I just... I love it, okay? And if you have a wall behind this thing from studios, you can show its shadow of this thing. To get out of render mode, as you can already see, it's escape on your keyboard. And I'm just changing the lighting again. I'm showing you why moving the lighting is sometimes important to where you want your shadows to be. And this is called a casting shadow, and I have a whole video on it. So yeah, I didn't do anything with my settings here, so be aware. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but now you can see the shadow on the left side of the glasses instead of the right because I did change the lighting part. So now I'm going to show you a technique I do use and people do ask me about. You go to lighting or the little lamp icon and then you see colors. And then you can click the color, and then you can move the color to whatever you want. I chose orange, just red, just to show you what it looks like, basically. And we're going to click render, and I did speed it up again. So now you can see that the render is orange, and I'm just showing you how it shows the time and how much time you have left. But look at that. Your lighting has changed colors, and then you can see the shadows, obviously. So we're going to get out of that. And so, I just want to say thank you guys so much for what you have gave me the opportunity to make videos like this for you guys. And thank you so much for all the support. And I will be trying to get all my uploading on track. And if you do want to keep watching my videos, your account has to be over 13 years old. Because I changed the settings to not for kids. Because I do want comments instead of the community section, which nobody even looks at. So, yeah. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs th thumbs. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, please don't do anything. And if you do have questions... Leave it down below. Please don't irritate me with the questions already answered in this video. So yeah. Please hit the subscribe button to support me. It's free. And you can unsubscribe anytime. But if you did enjoy this video, please subscribe. Comment some feedback. And give me some video ideas. Because I don't have any currently. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to stop talking, and if you guys do have really serious questions, you can spam the comment section. I'm fine with that. I will reply as fast as I can, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, bye guys.